Alright friends, welcome back to Enshrouded, and today we are going to be going after the next boss in the game. As you can see, I've added in some roads, put a little flower bed here and things like that, and been doing some all-around base maintenance, doing some planting, some harvesting, that kind of stuff. But yeah, we want to get right into it today, and we want to go right to where we left off last time before we started building like crazy. So this is where I think this monster is. We've also got another quest there and a little bitty quest right there. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and go here. So I did kind of push this area just a little bit and there is a lot of enemies here. So we, we want to make sure we're geared up. We have everything we need because it's going to be a fight. I think getting to this boss is going to be a fight and i think actually attacking the boss is going to be a fight so let's see what we can do here actually let's go ahead and mark where we're headed so we have a clear path of where we need to go it's not that far away from us um that's not the way we want to go and i just said like i was in here kind of surveying this you think i know my way around but that was a while ago and i've been focusing exclusively on base building lately man this place is messed up it's very messed up in here all right so what do we need to do here i was in here once before oh it's just <laughs> it's just on this side that's all just gotta go this way so yeah, there are bosses in here, all kinds of bad things. I think for the most part, though, we want to push past that and just try to get to where we need to go. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of dudes here. I already took out that shroud route, so I'm not going to mess with it again. There's also like a big boss here. Okay. Okay. They kind of lost interest. I think we need to get there, right? That looks right to me. Ooh, that dude's mad. Oh, that arrow did like nothing to that guy. Wow. Yeah, that, that guy was, he was mad. Okay, this does not look familiar to me. I don't remember ever seeing a flame shrine here. So I think we're going in some new directions. Let's see what we got here. There's probably some goodies here that are worth grabbing. I mean the water alone. Some nails and stuff. That's decent. Some decent loot here. Okay. I think this is our path we need to take here. Maybe? Maybe? It says it's like 200 feet this way. Yeah, it definitely is that like towery thing over there. I don't think I was supposed to come this direction, but maybe this will let us get past some of these <laughs> crazy bosses in here. Uh, Yeah, let's just go for it. Uh, holy cow. Okay, uh, I'm in trouble. <gasps> oh, that's definitely not what I wanted. Oh, they can't come in here. Good. Can I just shoot them through the window? Yeah, it's not really doing anything. Yeah, those dudes were fast, man. They were really fast. They're also very unhappy with me. Okay. I think I'm gonna leave them alone. And just kind of head toward the tower. I'm liking this castle look. I'm liking that brick. That is some nice looking stone right there. Gotta figure out how to get in this place. Uh, 
Okay, I reached the destination, so that's good. We're making progress. We're definitely making progress. I mean, it's only whatever this thing is, it's like 30 something feet away from me. Okay, there's a hey, you're probably about to die, so we'll respawn you right here, marker. Where is this dragon thing? Okay, this definitely looks like some stuff's about to go down here. I'm going to put some different arrows on. So let's go ahead and equip. I don't think the poison arrows are going to do much. But we'll equip these scrap arrows. They do a little bit more damage. Uh, yeah. There he is. Oh, wow. Oh! Holy cow! Dude, this guy's got crazy attacks! I... I don't know what I thought was gonna happen here, but it wasn't this. I've done, like, no damage to this guy. Oh, you have to, like, stun him or something. bad. Like, this is an actual boss battle. This is pretty cool. Okay, I'm starting to understand how to fight this guy now. As I say that, I almost die. Oh, I missed my opportunity. Oh, he got me. Oh man, this guy's no joke. Oh no. Oh no, I went the wrong way. And fell and took a lot of damage there. Okay, so he goes back to full health. So we need a different strategy here. Yeah, that ain't it. Yeah. Hmm. This guy's difficult. Maybe he is, like, weak to poison arrows, and we can try that. I'm also looking at the terrain and seeing if there's something that I can exp 
exploit on this guy. The fact that he can shoot, like... A laser beam... Kind of indicates to me, like, there's really no way to... Yeah, there's nothing to jump on here. Yeah, I don't see anything in here that can help me. Okay, he does seem really susceptible to poison arrows. Having to deal with those little guys at the same time of trying to deal damage to him, that's a problem. Hmm, I don't know what my strategy is here. I think we're gonna have to go back, get some more poison arrows, because he's really, he really does take a lot of damage from the poison arrows. So, let's go back home, get some more healing potions, and then come back at this. Okay, that gave us a hundred. I think we'll be okay with that. Let's get some heals. Okay, that gave us 20 heals. Let's go back to the dragon. I think the other bosses were so easy to cheese that this was just... It's such a higher difficulty than the other ones were. I, I like it. I like the, the challenge of this. So this is bad. It's nighttime now. This is definitely not, <laughs> not when we want to be fighting this guy. Probably shouldn't have wasted that. Okay, I also should have healed my sword while I was at home, too. Hmm. Yeah, this is bad. Guess we'll give it a try. Oh, right away. Oh, because I didn't eat. Oh. I wonder if we can trigger him by not going all the way in. Now I'm looking for a way to cheese the guy. I want to see what's kind of around him too. Maybe I can pass some time until it's daytime. So you can kind of get up on this tower area. Oh, and look at this. There's a little grappling hook here. I don't think that area is accessible, though. From down there. Although, maybe. Let's, let's see where this is going. So, I'm like, right on the outside of him. Oh, there are armor stands in this game. I was wondering about that. I wonder when we get to unlock that.
can't mine through this, right? No. Well, that's not what I wanted to happen. So it seems like a lot of dodging. Then wait till he turns to do his little mouth thing. That was not the mouth thing. That is the mouth thing. See, you can't really just ignore those guys. Yeah, ugh. That's just bad. I got lucky there. I did not get lucky there. I think we're doing okay. We got a good strategy going now. It's it's patience. I think it's patience with this guy. I think I was just trying to rush things too much. Got some good damage going. We're close, we're close, we're close, we're close, we're close. I think we can kill him here. Yes, we got him, we got him. Okay. Yeah, we were just rushing things. Wow, he is actually tough. What is this? 30 mana, 30 health. If we were a wizard, that would be amazing. Opens all doors in the pike. Okay. Interesting. We will take all of that. Wow, yeah. That dude was kind of nuts. <laughs> he was kind of nuts there. Let me get some photos with this guy. Okay. Stay dead, dude. There's critter parts all over. Might as well grab all those. So that's a bunch of wood and the bones make sense. I'm not sure what all the wood is supposed to be representing here. Okay. There's a lot of dudes in here, but they're all, like, under the ground, and I can't get them. 
There's no way I'm not going to loot up while I'm in here. It's a lot of locked doors. This place seems kind of crazy. But I'm not seeing, like, a ton of stuff in here. There's a way to go over there. Okay, this is the top of where we were seeing when we were fighting him. You'd think for sure there'd be something in here, right? Okay, let's go this way. Kind of see what's up. Okay, we've got a lot of the mystery things that were over here. There's something here, but that's... So I'm just kind of exploring around. I, I gotta believe there's something here to unlock, like a buildable or something. A recipe, a building block of some kind. There has to be something. I don't know. It really doesn't look like it. It looks like you come here, you fight the dragon. That's kind of your main thing. And then you just dip out. Okay. This looks like maybe it's... Oh, there's a squirrel over here. Okay. This is the closest we've found... Oh, Guardian of the North Helmet. Okay. that's That looks like some legendary gear right there. Okay, with that, I think we just head back. Alright, we are back home. We can go ahead and upgrade our Shroud Flame now. Strengthen our flame. We should have everything we need. We do. There we go. Level 4. I don't really know what that did for our character. All of our flowers and things are growing in. It looks really nice here. Really liking this. I planted some trees. Some additional treeage and everything. But yeah, it's coming coming along, coming along. Let's see if any of our companions have anything to say about what we just did. Nope. So it does not appear that any of our companions unlocked or did anything new from beating the dragon um i think we'll just keep it here this might be a shorter episode but guys hopefully you're still enjoying the series in the next episode we're going to go after additional tools for our two companions and unlock some more buildables so we can build some cooler things here although this place is looking pretty cool to me <laughs> but i'll see you guys in the next episode of mining positivity bye friends <laughs>